Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and welcome in the next video in the TBS Tracer series. In the previous episodes in this series, we talked about how to install the transmitter, how to wire the receiver, how to set up the transmitter using OpenTX menus and how to configure the channels and the output mapping on the receiver as well on how to update the tracer firmware in this episode we will find out on how to configure beta flight to be used with the tracer receiver if you have not watched the previous episodes in the series please do because they might have some of the details that you might require today. However, the speed up wiring and setup guide will be just after I stop talking. Before we will go to the flight controller setup for the TBS tracer, here are the things that you should already have done with your OpenTX radio, tracer transmitter and the tracer receiver. A. You have to have the tracer enabled and configured in the OpenTX. B. You have to have the tracer receiver wired to the flight controller with ground to ground plus to plus. Output one, here the blue wire to one of the RX pads on the serial port of your choosing and the output two the yellow wire to the TX pad on the flight controller on exactly the same serial port. In this example, I'm wiring everything to the serial port 3. One more time, output 1 to the TX pad and the output 2 to the RX pad. On top of that, in the receiver setup in the OpenTX Crossfire tools, you have to set output 1 to the function crossfire TX and the output 2 to the function crossfire RX. And finally, the receiver has to be binded to the transmitter, which is indicated by the green light with the solid light on on the receiver and now and now we can go to the flight controller setup. The process of configuring beta flight for the tracer and also crossfire is very simple. However, of course, you will have to use the beta flight configurator to configure everything. So how to do it? First of all, let's connect. And because this is the first time I'm using this board, of course, I have to apply the defaults. And after this is done and configuring again, the first thing we have to do is we have to go to the port stop and find remembering on which serial port the crossfire is connected. In my case, it's configured on the serial port 3, UART 3, so I do have to enable serial RX on the number three. Bear in mind, the serial LX can be selected on only one of the serial ports. This is kind of important. And now let's hit save and reboot. And after we have reconnected to the to the board, let's go. Yeah, we are not doing the calibration right now. Let's do the configuration. And here in the receiver setup, let's make sure that you have serial based receiver as the receiver mode and the CRSF as the serial receiver provider. Now, let's save and reboot. And in the meantime, also, let's power up my radio so that the tracer is on. I will have to press some buttons. Now that the tracer is on, the light is on. After connecting to the beta flight configurator and going to the receiver tab, we should see that, well, yeah, hell yeah, it's working. There are no more steps required to do it. However, in some of the cases, when, for example, you migrated from the SBUS to the Crossfire or from different protocol to the Crossfire, and after selecting CRSF and the selecting correct port, it's still not working. Why? Because, for example, maybe you have forgot to configure the serial port inversion. So let's go to the CLI 
and type get rx. There will be a setting called the serial rx inverted. To be used with the crossfire, it has to be off. In if it in in your case it is on, you should change it to off and then hit save and reboot the board. Bear in mind that you do not have to manually configure the telemetry for the Crossfire protocol. Crossfire CRSF brings both the serial link and the telemetry downlink and telemetry will be working if only the telemetry feature on the configuration tab of the Betaflight configurator is enabled. And that, my friends, is all that you really have to know about the Betaflight Crossfire setup. Not that hard, right? Crossfire? Should I say Tracer? Yes, Tracer setup. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.